In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Google Calendar appointment schedule option to set up parent conferences or really anytime you need to set appointment times that people can sign up for. So one thing I will say is here I am in my Google Calendar. You do have to either be in day or week view for this to happen. I prefer to be directly on the day that I want my conferences set up so that I can make sure I'm setting them up for the correct day. So to select the appointment schedule feature, you'll just click wherever you want your conferences to start. So I know I want my conferences to start at 1.30. If you click in the wrong place, you can always edit it later. So you'll come over here to appointment schedule and give it a title. I like to put my name in it so that when the families get the invite on their calendar, they'll have my name. They know which teacher they're meeting with at that time. Apparently, I like to capitalize the second letter. And I want this to go from 1.30 to 7 o'clock p.m. And I am creating a new appointment schedule. For some reason, the continue button gets grayed out here. It still works. So you're good to go ahead and click continue. A couple things you want to do here. Here you can set the duration. One thing to note is that you can't set anything shorter than 15 minutes. 15 minutes is the minimum. So even if I went here to custom and I tried to type in 10 minutes, it's going to tell me I have to choose at least 15 minutes. So if you're more used to doing shorter parent conferences, you might want to use a Google form or something else. The other thing is we do want to set this to where it is not repeating weekly. It's only available for that date from 1.30 to 7 p.m. And you can see over here on my calendar, it's created individual spots. You'll take a, we'll take a look at what that looks like in detail later. Here you can set, if you had these already on your calendar, you can set when they can start booking appointments. If you're just creating it, like I am a week before parent conferences, they can't sign up for them before you create them. So I usually leave that as it is. With booked appointment settings, you could set a buffer time in between. With this one, because I'm having to set 15 minute parent conferences, that buffer is, is built into that 15 minutes for me. And then of course you can choose your color as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. So here you could, we'll look at the booking page. It's very plain, but you can add a color uh, and a name to that as well. You can choose a location. I like to say to be specified later, you could do in person and set your room number, but because some of our conferences can be virtual, I'm going to leave it here. And then if a family says they want to meet virtually, I can add a Google Meet link to that uh, calendar invite as well. You can add a description. Not that that one's any, any more useful. Uh, but at this point, this is a really important section. This is the information that the families are going to have to give you to create an appointment slot. So here you have their first name, their last name, their email address. You can also add items. So I like for them to put their student's name as well. I'm going to make that required. You could have them put which class the student has with you, which class period they have you, whatever information you want for them to make it easier for you to know who has signed up for that appointment slot. And then these are the reminders that are going to be sent to them. So it's going to send them an email reminder so they'll remember when, they're in, when their uh, conference is and then you can, they can set it up to get a calendar invite as well. So we'll go ahead and click save. Now here you have a couple of options to share. So this is what it's going to look like on your calendar for the time being. If I go to share, you can share a couple of ways. So you can embed this into your website, but most of us would be sending this out either in Canvas to our students or we'll send it out to our families in our weekly emails. So all appointment schedules would look something like this. So it would have, if you had appointments scheduled on multiple days, it would have multiple blocks and they would click that. Most of us would choose the single booking page. So this is what that would look like. It would take them directly to their calendar. So you just share that link in your email and it's gonna take them directly to their calendar and then, or to this calendar layout. They can see here that the only date that's selected, everything else has a line through it. 
So the 13th is the only day available for appointments. Now, if you had appointments available on multiple days, like office hours or something like that, you could set up for multiple days and they would see those there. So we're going to go ahead and click on the 13th. So let's say I want to sign up for that 130 time slot. So I can fill in my name, email address, and student name. I'm going to go ahead and book that appointment. So here it gives me a confirmation. One of the really cool things too is they have the option to cancel the appointment from their calendar invite or from their email, and that will re-release that time, which doesn't happen when you're using Google Forms for parent conference signups. So let's go take a look at what that looks like on our end. So I'm going to refresh. So here you can see that Crystal Strader has signed up for this time slot. So that makes it a little bit easier for you to see who signed up for which one. And then you can always go back and edit that particular time slot. So if that family has requested to meet virtually, you can go in and add your Google Meet conferencing for them. So it'll be part of that. Or if they call, if they send you an email and say they can't meet anymore, you can go in and cancel that appointment as well.